Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Tracy Jackson, the Chief HR Strategist with Home Furnishing Association. For those of you who don't know me, I've worked in the furniture industry for a dozen years. I was the VP of HR with Sleep Train and Mattress Firm. I've also been in HR for over 20 years, so I have a lot of experience. This is gonna be top of mind for most people right now. We're gonna, so we're gonna talk about recruiting and finding the right talent for the open positions that you have right now. You might wanna also check out the talent acquisition video that I've done, which also addresses this from a different angle. So some of the things you might wanna consider is that you should refresh your approach with your advertisements for your openings. You might wanna do something creative, like using social media to your advantage. TikTok and Snapchat are things you likely haven't considered doing, but these are avenues that people are using today to communicate, especially the younger population within their peer group. Consider having a contest for TikTok or Snapchat that you can have internally within your organization, and even consider using those in those particular venues, a Snapchat or Instagram, um, if one of them actually really represents your brand well enough, because you'll communicate with a different segment of candidates for your role. Speaking of videos, you might wanna create one for the organization itself or for the positions that you have. It's the best way to show your culture and people having fun and engaging. Like this video, it's really quick and easy to look at and it can convey so much information that you can't in words. Most people don't wanna spend their time looking through words on a job description to understand the job. They want something quick and easy, and this is a way you get to tell your story in maybe in about a minute video. So think about doing that. Make sure you avoid outdated terms. Don't talk about the girls in the office. Don't talk about the guys or the boys in the warehouse. Make sure you're using inclusive words and terminology. Talk about your team, the workers, the staff, about your culture, and really show them people who work in those environments. And that's a good way to advertise your opening positions. And when you're advertising your roles, consider using language that conveys the career opportunities. Instead of hiring trainees, possibly consider hiring management trainees. That word management will attract a, a different level of candidates who are interested in management experience. Also, it helps them to understand that there are more opportunities within the organization and that they can build their career there instead of just a job, a layover until they find their next management opportunity. Show them the money. Make sure you include salary information in your job openings. Today, it's so important, especially with all of the pay transparency laws that exist across the nation. About 20 states now require people to either advertise including the salary or to provide it to candidates upon request without them having to tell you how much they make. So it's important that you, that you consider these things. For commission-based positions, Put in there what they'll make and then show them what the average might be and also some of the highs of what people are experiencing if they do really well in your field. So be transparent about pay. Soon it likely won't be an issue whether or not you can do it or not. So it's better to get ahead of this. It also builds trust in the, in the candidate that they know what kind of position and pay is available for the role that they are applying to. You wanna also use whatever available information is that you have in your organization. Go through your exit interviews, look at your engagement surveys, know what employees like about working there. Make sure you use that information when you are recruiting to talk about why employees love working at your organization. If you want more tips and tools like this, go to myhfa.org and you'll get more videos, tools, and resources. Have a great day.